The state just spent thousands of dollars on a new garden to honor military veterans and police officers. But there's a problem. News 13's Kim Holland is on special assignment tonight to find out why it's so hard to get to. It's a place to relax, reflect, and unwind. I think uh, it was time for a renovation. This is the state's new Centennial Memorial Garden. It honors military men and women and memorializes fallen police officers. But here's the catch. You just can't walk up and visit this garden. That's because it sits inside the Department of Public Safety behind locked doors. But if you want to see it, you must be cleared by staff at the DPS front desk in Santa Fe. So you need a badge and a sign-in? And someone has to escort you to the garden and remain with you while you're there. This area at the bottom of the main stairwell used to be jam-packed with house plants. We had mold. Uh, coming up all the way to the bottom of the window sills. DPS Cabinet Secretary Gordon Eden says crews found critters in the old plants, mice droppings in nearby offices, and dead mice in the display. Several years ago, they brought in exterminators to try and take care of the rodents. We ended up having to send people home because they had a reaction to the chemicals. Eden says the bottom line was it had to be renovated. The cost? $16,000. That's about the price of a new cruiser. When you look at the cost of, number one, we don't have employees going home sick. We're not trying to maintain an area that is just full of rodents and insects. It's just, for us, we thought it was a good investment. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. DPS plans to unveil the Memorial Garden on Veterans Day. Mark.